Full disclosure, this is my book. You can see that from my name being on the cover and my silly face being on the back of the cover. This book is the quintessential guide to monster encounters, kickstarted in a quite a successful Kickstarter campaign uh, over a year ago and finally physically in my freaking hands. And I cannot tell you, I cannot express to you how freaking excited and I am and happy I am to show this thing to you. Hi there fellow role players and game monsters, my name is Mr. Tarask and this is the quintessential guide to monster encounters by myself, Mr. Tarask and a few of my friends, Wally DM, Dungeon Dad and JVC Perry and some guests. I am extremely proud of this book. Now this is not really a review in the sense of that I uh, that it would be fair for me to like tell you that it's really cool and the art is really good and the writing is really good and the encounters are really good and you should get it on DriveThruRPG, link in the description below. Because it is my book and that would not be fair, of course. Now, I do want to do a quick video on this book. I want to uh, go uh, just scroll through the PDF, show you what it is all about, what you get for your money if you just do decide to get this. Now, if you want a print copy of this, you will be able to do so in the near future. This is the Kickstarter version, meaning that uh, the Europe um, copies, the copies for the European Union countries uh, have all arrived at my doorstep yesterday. I was not expecting them, but a truck pulled up unloaded a big box of books and there I was uh, I had to like put like a lot of books in my garage makeup space that kind of stuff the books for the all, all of the other countries in the world are on a container and a shipping container on a ship being shipped right now to the USA they are physically printed they are done I do not know exactly when they will arrive in our um, like our distribution center thing that distributes the book uh, across all the people that back the Kickstarter. But this is the Kickstarter version. Um, it is ready. It is coming pretty damn soon to your doorstep, and I'm just happy to sh happy to show this off to you. Um, there will be a uh, print version option available on Drive to RPG in the near future, um, but you can already pick up the PDF because we will set it up as a, um, as a bundle where if you buy the PDF you will be able to get the physical version of it a little bit cheaper so if you buy the PDF right now you will be able to get the physical version of the book at the price as if you would have buy bought the bundle am I making any sense now it is worth stating that I do not know how the drive through RPG version will turn out, but we have Wally DM who also uh, wrote for this book and the, has done the layout for this book. Uh, we have him on the job and he's creating the files for drive through RPG. He has some experience with that, so uh, I'm sure it's going to turn out fine, but it's not going to be exactly the same book as uh, this one. So let's talk about what you get for your money if you buy the quintessential guide to monster encounters and then just take a look at the PDF and just show you one or two things that I think are really cool. Now the quintessential guide to monster encounters came to an existence through me talking to Wally DM asking him if he wanted to work together on a book. The idea of the book in general was for me to have an encounter book that kind of taught people how to run encounters by running them while running them so i wanted a book that had a bunch of uh, monster encounters but also had enough tools and tips and tricks for people newer dms but also experienced dms to like kind of have a look into my mind and what dms mind in order to to know like different takes on how to run monster encounters and how to tie monster encounters into stories and how to tell small confined stories within one monster encounters that's basically what i was set out to do and what dm almost immediately agreed read after I, I i had to like bake him a cake i had to like buy him some belgian beer and send it his way i i don't know i took him to a team park all of that stuff and danny agreed and he was like i know another guy um maybe dungeon dad is up for it and dungeon dad immediately agreed as well and we uh, had like sixteen thousand meetings and we decided to do the quintessential guide to monster encounters and we started writing started designing encounters started like creating the book while we while we were going along with it. Then we discovered that creating a book of this proportion is actually pretty damn hard. So we needed somebody to help us with that. So we got JVC Perry to help us with like a lot of the stuff like um, editing our work, writing some of his own work, um, like helping out with like some of the grammar, helping out with like some, like just generally uh, like creating a book of this scope, uh, turning it into the cool book that I'm 
holding here in my hands. So what you get for your money is uh, 26 pre-written encounters for 5th edition featuring original monsters and unique abilities. Now 26, normally we were planning on 21 and then with some stretch goals we cut all the way up to, I don't know, 24, 25 maybe, uh, because some guests have all were also done an encounter in this book. Uh, and then we just decided to throw in another one, the Hag Dragon, a dragon encounter, big as encounter. We were just like, you know what? Let's toss in a Hag Dragon. We need a dragon with different stat blocks for like an adult and a young Hag Dragon and all of that stuff. Now, uh, the first part of this book is actually um, me, uh, like all these people basically, except for this person. This is Danny Pavlov the person who has done like 90% of the artwork in this book amazing freaking artwork uh, so he's sitting right here but all of these people have uh, done some encounters in this book but also written a written up a small guide of how we approach monster encounters like for me I talk about more like improvisation and cinematic storytellers others uh, talk more about like preparing for an encounter and all of that stuff uh, dungeon that talks about uh, 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 what's fun and the juice and all of that stuff and then JVC Perry has his own section as well and then chapter two are the monster encounters now you might be asking to yourself I how are you like if the guide is only like a few pages long uh, I personally I started with the with the idea of having a bigger guide section but while we were uh, writing the encounters we were doing a lot of like sidebars at the right points during an encounter with like the tips and the tricks on how to make that encounter fit your story better or or how to make it more difficult or easier or or how to like uh there's that is the, the guide portion of this book basically is that you are running the encounter and the book is riddled with um these uh, uh little red book uh, uh blocks of text that kind of like give you more information uh like in our heads basically they're written by us uh, and not so much the narrator the fictional narrator of the book if that makes any sense um which is I think a really cool way and some of these red boxes might make sense to you and some of these red boxes you might be thinking like wait what am I reading this is not for me that's not this my style that's perfectly fine that's actually the entire idea of it uh the thing is um we have these red boxes so you can look into our hats a little bit uh and 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 yeah just stuff that helps you run the encounter but also helps to uh helps you make the encounter your own as a game master for your game and your players and here it is, ladies and gentlemen, the quintessential guide to Monster Encounters, the PDF with the Red Desert Rose on the cover, where this fighter type is trying to fend off the Red Desert Rose, um, while this dude is trying to save this dude from drowning in quicksand while being eaten by scorpions. And that is kind of the vibe we went for in the entire book. Uh, serious silly, or silly serious, whatever you want to call it, it is that kind of vibe. And Danny Pavlov, again, masterfully nailed it in terms of art work everything is serious and silly at the same time and almost <clears throat> sorry almost all of the artwork it uh, kind of like resembles that uh where the characters most of the time are in a really really bad situation as you can see table of contents there is the guide to monster encounters which is pretty damn short and then there are all the monster encounters i just want to quickly say that if you backed this project you might like my new project which which is in its final week i'm designing an adventure for fifth edition dungeons and dragons and tales of the valiant together with dot steverson from kobold press uh, and some other people it is in its final week it's already fully funded and if we reach the first stretch goal which is 9k funded uh everybody everybody every backer backer will get a free virtual foundry virtual tabletop version of the adventure it's called hymn of the dragon flower make sure to check it out uh hit the link in the description below now there's 26 in here if i'm not mistaken um but uh some of them are really big and some of them are somewhat smaller but all of them have like at least a few pages going on so they are not just like encounters like here's a monster and here's a lair or whatever like just deal with it no there's always like background all of the monsters are original Every Every monster in here is not copy pasted from somewhere else. It's all written by us, designed by us for that particular encounter. Some encounters even have like, like small uh, plots or story elements going on for them so you can tell kind of like a confined story uh, from one encounter. Uh, and one thing, just to show off the silliness of it, um, 
Let's go to the, uh, where are they? The Deinonychus on the rocks? Deinonychus on the rocks right here, for example. Uh, needs to load a little bit. Uh, Deinonychus on the rocks is a encounter that I came up with. This is one of my encounters. And just to show kind of the silliness, this was, of course, first called Raptors on the rocks, which has a much better ring to it than Deinonychus on the rocks. So you might as well call it Raptors on the rocks or Dinosaurs on the rocks, but Deinonychus on the rocks is what I went for, for the sole reason of Jurassic park being the best the best movie maybe maybe the best movie ever made i have to like take a look if i'm still uh recording yes um so i put the dinosaur trivia in here just to make uh, sure that people get like this little pun that i that i put in this for example uh contrary to popular belief the iconic kitchen scene in your favorite dinosaur movie doesn't actually feature velociraptors although velociraptor or simply raptor does have a cooler ring to it than dinonychus that might be one of the reasons the creators opted for that name in reality the these two bird-like canivorous creatures from the Drillilla family looked remarkably similar with size being their primary difference. So uh, just quickly, I just want to say like um, I called this Deinonychus on the rocks just because of Jurassic Park using the name Raptor because it sounds cooler but using the, the, the looks and the size of a Deinonychus. Which doesn't sound as cool. That's why I did this. Just to like show you kind of the silliness. But also like in the artwork. There's always like. There's always almost always like characters being in a situation. Of almost being completely totally screwed. Uh, it's the same with this. The characters are being uh, electrocuted by lightning. Uh, there's the same like. Uh, the characters here are in the minecart. And they're going in endless circles. While flying kobolds uh, are shooting at them. And yes my um, my titles of my encounters that I did. In it for this book are always like very descriptive titles flying kobolds and a mine guard kind of like snakes on a plane type of thing uh, there's flying mermaids for some reason we're just going over my encounters which is not my intention the flying mermaids who are just mermaids that jump over a ship grab sailors drag them to sea to drown and then eat them uh, let's see there's more here there's giant lysantro lys lysantropes uh, there is a uh, um, uh, guillotine mimic I have to say I'm pretty proud of this one just how it turned out because I had this vision in my mind and I ran this encounter for my players and a lot of people have been asking me like why would somebody go closer to a guillotine that's sitting on top of like a, a wall or, or a tower inside an old ruined keep well the reason to go there is actually in the text here uh, for you to figure out um, so yeah my players were super curious to check that out and why it is there and why it looks the way it looks and then find out it's actually a mimic trying to grapple them and behead them uh, it's, it's a really funny uh, way to use a mimic it's like kind of like a toilet mimic or an elevator mimic or whatever. And then there is the hag dragon. And I have to say, um, we were really happy with the book without the hag dragon. Um, but this one really topped it off. Dungeon Dad at, at like pretty late um in the in the like pr production process of the book he was like i want to add a dragon this book is not going to feel complete without a dragon and i have this idea for a hag dragon and we kind of like went back and forth with ideas and just general like how we see this hag dragon and then danny pavlov created this artwork that is one of my favorite art pieces of the book that is by the way filled with um pop culture references there are some pop culture references in here that you need to find for yourself but also some of the magic items found in all across the book are in here and there is a short story here uh, about how one magic item ended up uh, in actually ended up in the hag dragon's lair and these are the npcs created by players who back this project for the NPC tier. These NPCs are created by those uh, players and they get their own little short story, uh, kind of like a prequel to the actual encounter when your players get into the uh, Hag Dragon's lair. I really love this one. We have stat blocks for the Hag Dragon Wormling, the uh, Young Hag Dragon, Adult Hag Dragon, Hag Dragon, Asian Hag Dragon, and I, there's treasure in here. There's so much. This is really a cool addition to the book. Uh, and I really, really love that we uh, ended up um, uh, deciding uh, just putting that in there. Now, in general, a lot of great stuff in here. Again, let's do. Let's look at another uh, encounter. There is a freaking I don't know. There's a freaking um, skytation in here, which is a freaking whale trying to freaking destroy a keep. Um, uh, 
also the whale flies and people are trying to pull it down. And as you can see, there is this little uh, box right here. This is one of those boxes where uh, JVC Perry, this is by the way written by JVC Perry, this one, uh, where he kind of explains how you can make the encounter uh, harder in two different ways. So that's what we're always going for. We're just trying to give you the tools for you as a game master to make up your own style or way of playing. And JVC Perry talks about two ways you can make this encounter a little bit more challenging for your players if your players uh, end up um, de defeating the Skytation uh, with ease. Uh, let's just look at another another encounter really quickly and then call it a day because I can keep scrolling through this book all day. I just think if you want to support me, if you want to support Dungeon Dad and if you want to support Wally DM, please, for the love of God, go to the link in the description below and get yourself a... Um, uh, a copy of this one in PDF and then later in uh, in, in in print. If you do decide to take uh, the print cop to take the print copy later, make sure to do so. Um, which will be cheaper if you already have the PDF. I just wanted to quickly say that I'm looking for a a an encounter by um, a Wally DM, one of my favorite encounters in the book. I really think it's real, but I um I'm uh, where is it? 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 Oh my god, where is it? Oh, here it is. Crematria, crem, crem, crematrium? Crematrium. I really like this one. This is literally... Um, so there's this old dude who passed away a while back and there's this urn sitting on, on a... On a, on a cover or whatever and the rogue kind of accidentally pushes over uh the uh the urn and then out of the urn comes a sort of a ghost-like undead person created by ashes like the ashes become like it's almost like an an ash elemental type of creature uh and this is of course the same dude and i really like this is super original um uh, uh encounter riddled with like a sense of like um yeah, it's just it's just a Wally DM encounter. There's always like more like background and kind of lore going on, so it feels like more of an investigation type of thing than it feels like a than, than it feels like a combat encounter. Uh, I really uh, love this one as well. Just wanted to point that out. I think the Crematrium is one of the best, coolest encounters in the book. But that is all I will say about the quintessential encounter, quintessential guide to monster encounters at this point in time. And that's it, the quintessential guide to monster encounters, the fir first physical book ever is in my hands. Uh, they are arriving in the United States of America shortly, I don't know, do not know exactly when, but as soon as the fulfillment center has them, they will start will start shipping them out to addresses of backers. There will be a physical drive through edition uh, pretty soon, there is already a PDF, make sure to pick it up in the link description below. Also go to my new Kickstarter link in the description below, because it's in the final week, make sure to back that one for 20 years euros um, because you get a lot of great stuff for that 20 euros and until next video bye bye